this guy is driving me nuts. I'm, I'm, my politics my, my, is freedom. That's what it is. Now, I do recognize the limits on freedom because there are. There are. Sorry, anarchists. There are limits on freedom. The limit is I'm not free to come into your house whenever I want and steal all of your shit. Sorry, anarchists. Say what? Anarchists don't want to steal your shit. Why would you say that? What the frick are you talking about? Oh my goodness gracious. Because I didn't earn it. And that would be an act of aggression. That would be an act of evil. I'd be stealing from your right as an individual. Yeah. No shit, Sherlock, because that's statism. That's not anarchism. Statism steals stuff. Statism steals stuff. Repeat after me. Statism steals stuff. Gives it to other people. Yes. Yes, it does. Does anarchism do that? No. 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 What did Rika say about anarchism when she left the comment on your channel? Hmm? What did she say? What did she say? Let's let's look at what she said. What did she say? Oh my goodness. What did Rika say? Ah, there it is. Rika said, Why do you think anarchists want to steal everyone's shit? That's what the collectivists slash statists do. Taxation and redistribution. Anarchy from the Greek anarchos meaning no rulers. Anarchists abide by the NAP, non-aggression principle. Any person claiming they're an anarchist advocating for the initiation of violence or stealing your shit are not anarchists. They are statists. Lysander Spooner and Benjamin Tucker are a couple of valuable anarchist resources. And then she leaves her stupid little flower. I don't know why she leaves that all the time, but whatever. Which is why you put up walls and you lock your doors and you have security systems because we know we live in a world of other people that don't all agree with this. If we did, there wouldn't be any war. But because we don't, and we're all fighting over these stupid ideas that are espoused by psychopaths and the true narcissists, then we have to obviously still have some kind of law and order. We still have to have some kind of rules. We still have to have some of those limits on freedom that are based on the social contract. That oh, oh, oh boy, here we go. Here we go. The social contract. My social contract. But this imaginary thing that doesn't exist is somehow what makes me be a good person. <laughs> Give me a break. Give me a freaking break. Okay. Say, I don't have perfect freedom to just walk up and steal your jacket because I want it. That's, that would be perfect freedom. I, oh, I like that jacket. Thank you. See you later. That's not free. Nobody wants your damn jacket, bro. Okay. Nobody wants your jacket. If I want a jacket like yours, I'll go buy. I buy a jacket like yours. Oh, or I'll make one because I'm kind of handy that way too. So I'm not going to steal your stupid freaking jacket because I understand the difference between morality and immorality. Even though I'm oh, a crazy anarchist. Oh my goodness. But if you think about it, if you study like socialist policies, for example, what are they advocating for? Oh dear. Oh my goodness. Cognitive dissonance incoming. Wait for it, guys. Just wait for it. They're advocating for just that. But it's just done in a much more sophisticated way that you don't really think about because you don't see the numbers. You don't see the money coming out of your bank account and your parents' bank account and your children's bank account and your grandkids' bank account and all future bank account. You don't see the money coming out of that and going directly into the pockets of the government that they then go and give to other projects and ideals that are all done on the greater good or the greater number. Ah, the greater good? Isn't that part of the social contract? Oh my goodness, this guy. Premise and all the wars they're financing and all the debt they have to pay back to the international bankers that created this fraction reserve system, keeping the world completely and utterly and totally enslaved into a debt-based system that is in no way linked whatsoever to a free market or the rights of an individual. And you don't see those transactions like that. Hey, doofus. Free markets and rights of the individuals are what anarchists support. Statists, socialists are statists. All, all, all statists are socialists, okay? Let's just get that through your thick skull right now. Whether they're a little bit of socialist or a lot of bit of socialist, doesn't matter. Statists are... Statism is socialism. Uh-huh. It is. 
okay? My word! Go study up on some anarchism before you start spewing nonsense about it, dipshit. No, please and thank you.